Okay, we're back. And we're gonna do more Takis. You're gonna eat Takis? Mm -hmm. Those are spicy! Ooh, give me diarrhea. I never would have dreamed I'd be in the presence of the president of Calard and the Grand Prince of Remferia. <laughs> Grand Princess Claudia, Lieutenant General Cassius are here too. Man, this place is crammed to top to bottom with big wings. Me, on the other hand, I'm just some schmack with an airship. What am I doing here? Mingling with I am. Well, that's the pro What's the problem? You just you're great at mingling. You're a mingler. <laughs> and besides, you've been helping out Lloyd and Reen a bunch, so no reason for you to not be here. Boy, the wee. Thanks for helping me and Agate cross the border to the Empire. Things would have been way harder without you. Tell you, I told you that no big deal. Saved my bacon and I'm Dalla. Um, bacon. Yes, bacon's great. Thanks, Reen. <laughs> Seems like Capua Delivery Service is always there to help when you're in a pinch. Your services are a lifeline for the guild, too. Everyone's very thankful to have you guys around. You don't work for Jaegers, and you stay away from shady business. That counts in your favor, too. Look, it's a business. And we do whatever we have to do in order to earn a profit. Ooh, shit, blah, shit. <laughs> Ooh, you're in trouble. You guys, stop it! You really like teasing her, huh? Hee <laughs> Don't worry. It's friendly teasing. Leaves. As well as the branch campus. Used to be within the Capua Binary 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 Binary. Could you stop shitting your pants? <laughs> Nobody can think with somebody's got cracked pants in the room. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your underwear just stinks now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like been singed by your butthole. <laughs> it's just a brownish, blackish mark. God. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs> I don't need to go poo. <laughs> smells like you do. It's just gas. Because <laughs> it has turds blocking up your body. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. And, okay, we're back. Uh, members of the Capua Delivery Service used to be the Sky Bandits, but they seem to be like decent people. Hello, decent people! <laughs> hey, Reed. You're quite a social butterfly today. I'm just making sure I get to talk to everyone. Cassius is next on my list. Makes sense, since you're both studied with Master Kafai, after all. If I'm being honest, I am not really sure why he and Chloe agreed to come all the way here. And I don't know what to think about this Duchess Cayens. The whole meeting is just giving me some bad vibes. Music's going to be up here soon. I promise. I can only imagine she must have been planning this for a while. She tries to sh not show it. But the situation in the Empire is probably bothering her a lot. You notice too, don't you, Instructor Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she tends to hide her true feelings and motives. But from what I've heard, Eunice saw right saw right through her when she when they meet back met back when they met back up. Sure, you may also be a genius who can come up with plans to change the fate of the world, but that's beside the point. There's no way an ordinary girl like you would be okay with a plan that would cost millions of people their lives, is there? <clears throat> Her mask fell off for a second. She's only 16, too. Even younger than Wee Fifi. Wee Fifi. Wee Fifi. 
sorry. I, I heard this and that about the Kayan family. The Duke before was the last. Uh, the last was widely believed to be just El just and wise noble. When he died in an accident, his younger brother inherited the title, but all he cared about was his own personal interests. Me and my feathers. Yes. Me say his foolish uncle even stirred up in a civil war, and their family was about to be stripped of their title and privilege. And yet, here we are, with Muse as the mastermind behind the plan to save the world. She's got more guts than anyone on this airship. I think I can empathize with her more than after hearing that. Yum. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm deaf. <laughs> Judging from what I've heard, it's no surprise she understands. There's no telling how these talks will go until they're over and done with. But regardless of what the major events are about to set in motion, we must not forget about the individuals that will be swept up. He says one of those individuals, so do me a favor and stay by her side. I doubt you need me to tell you that, though. She won't leave me alone. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. really are amazing. With huh? Your giant pig tails. I call them horse tails. <laughs> <laughs> Horse deal. <laughs> you really just say what you think without even beating around the bush, do you, don't you, huh? Do you, don't you? Do you, don't you? <laughs> I see. Uh, whoops, I see. No. <laughs> I'm manly man, over. <laughs> Why, well, Tina compares you to the sun. You're bright and you can dispel any shadows of doubt in others. Thanks for the advice. That was my intention all along, but I needed to get, the, to get kicked... I need the kit to get get it going around to it. I, I need to get going. Uh, glad I can help. <laughs> Good luck, stupid. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my gosh, again? Really? Yes. God. Um. <clears throat> oh. Estella, there's something I've been dying to know. You and Washmo are together, right? But how far exactly have you guys gone? Ooh! Ooh. That's out of the blow! <laughs> Don't try and wiggle your way out of it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> okay, you wiggle that way out of it. <laughs> Burning with curiosity, too. Hey, <laughs> you won't. You wouldn't have tried to dodge the question unless. Whoa! Whoa! Why are you all bugging me about it? No, <laughs> can't tell you what Reen's right there. What if he hears? Uh, it's a close mic. <laughs> Looks like uh, they're talking about something personal. I don't want to be a third wheel, so I better go. That was important for us to hear. Oh yes, of course. Hey, Kurt and Ash, uh, good to see you again. Happy to have your instructor back. I kind of look like uh, Kurt and uh, Reen smashed together. <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it was only possible thanks to everyone's help. Agate was pretty impressive with that sword of his. Really see where he got the name Heavy Blade. Those two aren't, uh, aren't bad either. I might have taken a couple of swings, but I was just one of the many takes part of the Operation Bust Reen out. Same goes for me and Kia. Maybe our timing was lucky, but credit goes to everyone equally. As usual. Joshua. Ass. <laughs> don't you two have... Er, uh, wait. Don't the two of you have something important to talk about? <laughs> Renee? She's right. Don't put it off. Everything's gonna go to shit right now. There's no guarantee you'll be able to see each other again. Yes, you should sort things out now. There's no time that Raquel has become a home to you, Rash. But I'm sure there's value in learning about the place where that led you there. A rumph. Hamel was just a small village. It was no more than a few dozen inhabitants. As a result, there were very few children living there. 
Lowell was the oldest of, at 16, my sister Karen was 15, and I was 6. There was another boy, too. He was about three years old. What? He was too young to play with us much. But ever since he was a boy, uh, baby, <laughs> we looked after him. I was looking forward to playing with him when he was a little older. It was almost like a little brother to me. Then those peaceful, peaceful days uh, abruptly ended. Everything exploded. A group of Jaeger dropouts posing as the Royal Army opened fire on the villagers. I watched as Jan and Amelia were shot. There was blood everywhere. Their son fell to the ground, blood all over his clothes. We fled and we ran and ran, too afraid to look back. Survival was the only thing in our minds. That boy didn't die, though. He merely fainted from shock. We had no idea. Eventually, we made it out of the village. That other kid that was with us had no idea what was going on. He was like, ah! <laughs> Sorry. The well stayed behind to distract our pursuers. He told me and Karen to keep running. But we got ambushed by another group of Jaeger dropouts. That's truly heart-wrenching. I've heard it before, but it gets me every time. That's what happened thir 14 years ago. At least, that's how I remember it. That boy we left behind might have have a different perspective on the events of that day. He might have hated me us for escaping without him. Can't blame him. The bullet you fired at Emperor Eugen should have been for me. Dude, what the feck? <laughs> Joshua, damn it. It's alright, Renee. It was a shock when I heard about what happened to Heim in Heimdaller. I realized a bird that boy from Hamel m had to live with. But even though I felt an immense guilt that we, uh, we hadn't checked to see if he was alive, that we hadn't taken him with us, there was another feeling too. <laughs> Overwhelming joy. I can't say how how happy I am to uh, how happy it made me to, to when I found out he had uh, how he had survived. Oh uh, God! The fuck's with your brain, bro? I don't know. It's poo. <laughs> you need some uh, nootropics. What's that? Uh, supplements for your brain. Oh, does it make me think good? Uh oh. <laughs> that and exercise would help. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Joshua. Thanks for being patient and listening to do this to this long story of mine. Heh. Heh. Oh, whoa, his hair. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it feels so hard as hair change color. <laughs> the feels were that powerful. Don't know why you would bother telling me when it's got nothing to do with me, but... It wasn't entirely boring. I managed to stay awake till the end. Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, thanks, Ash. The Hamill tragedy that took place about the same time I was first taken in, taken to Ymir. I'm glad Ash was able to hear Yashua's story. Time to talk. <laughs> Oh, I didn't notice you were there, Instructor. I'm a ninja. <laughs> uh, hey, Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, eavesdrop much? Always. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the same event Yasha was talking about pretty much changed the course of my life, too. So it's at least a little relevant to me. Why so defensive, Ash? I thought you were. You said that Yasha's story had nothing to do with you. I'm sensitive. <laughs> She's got you there. Whatever. Screw all that old drama. We've got plenty of new drama we can talk about instead. For example, what's going on with you and Russell, huh? The hell are you talking about? 
Huh? Oh. Why don't you share with the rest of the class? Green, it's not like that. You stop it. Damn. You can't even see what's right in front of your face, old man. We all know what's going on. It's obvious to anyone with half a brain. Who the hell are you calling old, you little brat? I'm only 28! Why are we even talking about this? That's a very ash way to change the topic. He <laughs> used to be such a crybaby. I'm glad Adios kept him safe. No, not just her. Thanks to a number of kind-hearted people. Yeah, thanks for sharing the story with us, Joshua. Of course. Uh, thank you as well, Reen, for all you've done for him. I just kind of have to like, take a second to read ahead real quick, and then I can say it right. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a more talky tea party. Mmm, <laughs> this coffee is excellent. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a tea party. Damn it. Yeah. And the biscuits are great. You can't have biscuits with coffee, damn it! <laughs> it's just another word for cake, man. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that. They're inferior specialties. I'm glad you're there to your liking. Afternoon coffee and biscuits. What a wonderful custom. I could get used to this. <laughs> so true. I was worried that you'd be pretty unapproachable. Since you're the Grand Prince's secretary. I was surprised to learn you're not much older than us, though. You're really young for your position. Oh, there's the biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're there on the table, but they have cake, too. They're stepping up a notch. They're really just cookies. <gasps> but that's because we're uh, Jamaican. Jamaicans? <laughs> My situation is quite different. I'm close friends with Prince Dolphin. I've been appointed especially for this occasion. My family's quite well well known in Renferia. You might have heard of the Silaeans. Silaeans? 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 Hmm. Let me think. Silaean. Where have I heard that name before? This one company produces medical equipment shipped worldwide. Renferia is famous for being at the forefront of medical research, which becomes a bartering, ch bartering chip in relations to other nations. The Seelan family, besides owning a prosperous medical company, has strong connections in government. Oh, you've done your homework, heh. <laughs> the current state of affairs is deeply worrying for Renferia. Our country is small, relies on advanced technology and scientific research to remain afloot. It's like Taiwan with tea parties. <laughs> Taiwan tea parties. <laughs> We're not prepared to deal with this war in the least. I understand your predicament. I wish there was something we could do to help. Do you like fat beats? Damn right, sucker. <laughs> well... Let's see how these talks go first. Hmm. I was wondering what her special secretary position was all about. Tea parties, the coffee parties, whatever the fuck's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> She's very good with words, though. It's easy to see things from her perspective. And she encourages others to side with her. Grand Prince made the right choice appointing her. No, cool. I don't have to talk to him. Awesome. Out of here. Ah. <laughs> Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> there you are, Reen! Steadily working your way through the crowd, chatting up everyone, huh? Are you going to talk to Kaleo too? Who's that? <laughs> That's okay, <laughs> Special Second Lieutenant Kaleo. Yes, you may speak to me as at any time without reservation, Ashen Chevalier. Ashen Chevalier. 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 Uh, I'm grateful for your help the other day. I had a feeling you guessed who I was right from the start. I had we my... had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. 
Uh, it seems I interrupted your conversation. What was the boot? We were just touching up on the recent and internal affairs in Calvert. I'm not sure what you might have heard about the situation there. The ruling party lost to the opposition in the recent elections. Once President Rocksmith's term ends, he'll be forced to step down. So your entire government is being swapped out? That's a drastic change. The, the country has is already in a crisis, but there's also been acts of terrorism carried out by an anti-immigration faction. I see. Immigration is a very decisive issue in the Republic. With each passing day, it's becoming more apparent how weak our country is. I expect our leaders to announce the new course of action after today's discussion. Thank you. I have a handle on Calvert's situation now. Despite her young age, Kalea is remarkably sharp. Sharp? <laughs> Other side of the table. This competition now. By the way, it's good to see you again, Kalea. How was Kili 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 doing? <laughs> as well as ever, she's one iron lady. Completely made of iron. <laughs> I have to drag her everywhere. <laughs> you make it sound as though a long time has passed since you were last in Calvert. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Angelica, that Kilika. Is she who I think she is? <laughs> you picked up on her name, huh? She's a practitioner of Taito. She's the one who taught me. We wrestle. I thought so. <laughs> Kaleya, have you also been trained in the Taito style? No, although I do admire Eastern martial arts and swordsmanship. Pursuing those arts requires serious dedication and investment of one's time. I admire you for having reached reach intermediate level in the Eight Leaves One Blade style, Green. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> more tucky tucky. All right, two more groups. Uh, it's Bro, your crow. Uh -huh. Wait, <laughs> it's in order to speak to you again. We haven't had a chance to talk leisurely since we were at the Elma, Elma's Esmel's Esmel's Garden. It's been so long. I was kind of already having an, an identity crisis when we last met. I thought I was really cool with this mask. <laughs> Whoa, that was cringe. <laughs> Somehow, uh, we've always been too busy to really talk. Yeah, true. Damn. Are all, all the generals here as strong as hell? You managed to hold off McBurn all on your own in Leduc Canyon? It's pretty damn awesome. My father fought McBurn as well, though he seemed to all right at the time the damage to his body suffered manifested later. When he exploded. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed anything similar? No, luckily I seem to be perfectly fine. I don't think he, it's because McBurn was going easy on me. He seemed dead set on inflicting as much pain as possible. I think he might have been particularly vicious when he was fighting Vice Count Arside. Ah, I was worried about Wallace too. Good to know he's okay. I burped. That you did. It would be nice to have a friendly duel with him one day. Sort of like ching 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 ching. More talkies. Oh, the winds. Well, well, is that you, Schwarzdauer? You look awfully serious. Always. The situation's pretty grave. At least I finally have a sense of what direction I should be heading in. I've got my allies to thank for that, and for lending me their strength. That's good. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. 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 Gaius, uh, you seem to have gotten used to your new powers. Barkhorn was a legend. There's no doubt about that. But I think you'll be another. That's kind of you to say, so... Well, I hope you won't sound... I don't say hey, it won't sound patronizing, but I've been concerned about you. I see now that I needn't to have worried. 
You've been doing well for yourself, and you'll go far if you keep it up. Uh Aha. You know how to build my confidence. I appreciate it. We both studied under Barkhorn. Thankful they've got a good relationship. I should speak with Cassia soon. By the winds. Mm hmm. Dunk. Excuse me, lady. Dunk. Get away! Meow! Ah, there they are. Introducing yourself to all the important people, are you? Well, I thought it wouldn't hurt. What are you up to? Not much. Presenting you. <laughs> we are merely standing around. I've been on this share ship before. I've seen all there is to it. Anyway, the talks will be over soon. So I might as well wait here. Is there something bothering her? She's not hiding it very well, is she? It's about that man from the borough, Cassius. She's been acting funny around him. Ah, I get it. He's a master of the Eight Leaves One Blade style. He used to go by the nickname Divine Blade. Hey, what the heck are you talking about behind my back? It's rude to exclude people from a conversation when they're right in there with you. Yeah, sorry about that. How are you doing, Rosa? Are they cool? Best now, break it hard. More or less. <laughs> I received a report from some Ouroboros activity from the high sea when I was on the way here. Nothing's happened yet, though. By the way, is uh, has there been any sort of incident in the holy city of uh, Arteria? Hmm. I think I mentioned something about that, too. Vida might not know about it, but as luck would have it, she's not here. Bitch. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Maybe she'll turn up eventually. Melba, but as for me, I'm happy she's keeping her distance. I can relax without her and no one present setting my teeth on edge. I'm a battle. Man, can put that butt. It's <laughs> jiggling. <sighs> Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Should I ask the staff to fetch you a saucer of warm milk? No, that gives me diarrhea. <laughs> Best just give us some cheese. Good idea. Thanks, Rosa. <laughs> I'm gonna shit all over this couch. <laughs> I'm gonna blast off flying to the <laughs> it's like Somebody's in the center. Go <laughs> talk to the plant. <laughs> plant. Are you being watered? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Sounds like the meeting is over. Oh, man, the ball's itch. <laughs> faster, damn it, faster! Oh, you there, young man. Fetch me a pail of water. <laughs> this is no fe- reason to feel down, young man. You're Green Schwarzer, correct? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, that's right. I am honored to make your acquaintances. As am I. Stories of the Ashen Chevalier have certainly made their rounds across Calvin. Though I suppose not all of those stories paint you in the (laughs) best light. You were blowing up our stuff. (laughs) That's perfectly understandable. However, I uh, you single-handedly destroyed a number of our tanks and gunships without killing those within. What are you, fucking G.I. Joe? (laughs) (laughs) It was quite a feat, which spiked my curiosity. Hmm? I see how Lady Mildine, Princess Alfred, and General Le Guin hold you in such high esteem. Uh, Thank you for the compliment. Please accept my apologies about your tanks. It was nothing personal. You've also played a part in the Northern War, didn't you? Rimferia, Northambria have been on friendly terms for quite a time. It pains me greatly that we could not do anything to help them. Your involvement contributed to a significant reduction in casualties among their citizens, though. You give me too much credit. I wasn't acting alone. No need to be so humble. I heard stories about you from the refugees who fled the Riviera when North Ambria was incorporated into the Airborne Empire. Gosh, those are some freaking words. 
Those words got letters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> letters for days. <laughs> nah. Mostly a fine trait. Is a fine trait. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> but it started to great when people downplay their achievements. Acknowledge your importance. You're the person whose actions may very well decide the fate of the world, after all. You're the protagonist, boy. Protagonist, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's still plenty of time until dinner, and I'd love me a dinner. <laughs> if you'd like to chat some more, I'll be in my room. Mm -hmm. Since the acting Duke Abarea Abarea and the Hello from the inspectorate are here. Why not invite them along as well? I've already informed them. I will also be retiring from my room until dinner. Feel free to come and see me if you wish. I'll sp I'd like to speak with Lloyd, too. I'll go and tell him. I was wondering when we'd finally get the chance to meet. Easy going for us? Yeah. Oh, these two. Lieutenant General Bright, I have heard of much about you from Master Kafai. I don't think I've had the chance to introduce myself to you either, Your Highness. I am Reen Schwausdauer, son of Baron Theo Schwausdauer, and disciple of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I currently work as an instructor for Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintances. Oh, no. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. In a way... This feels closer to a reunion than a first meeting. Perhaps it's due to all the tales I've heard about you from Tita and Josette, and from Prince Olivert as well. Um, yes, he's playing that guitar uh, loot in the in the sky now. I'm honored to hear that. What happened to Pr to Olivert was truly heartbreaking. Uh, he had a grand vision, you see. It wasn't w only with Erebonia's best interests in mind, but those of the entire continent. Yes, he was a great man. Victor and Toval were good friends of mine as well. Their deaths have dealt a heavy blow in Erebonia. I'd even say it was felt by the whole continent. But now we must carry on without them. Even if it involves committing to something they most certainly would have never approved of. How? <clears throat> if you'd like, why don't you stop by for a chat for a bit of, for a bit of before dinner? Cassius, you wanted to talk to Estelle, didn't you? Yes, and the others as well. Renee, Tita, Agate. Please do come along, Reen. We could reminisce about Master Kafai together. I definitely stop by. Did he touch your butt, too? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rain! There you are! Aww. It's a girl's voice. Girls don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Prince Alvin. Are you alright? Of course I'm alright. <laughs> I'm more than alright. <laughs> I was a little shocked about the topics of the discussion, but I suppose it's good we were able to talk about all those pressing issues. <laughs> Ugh, Prince, yes. You just shut your <laughs> pants. <laughs> I see. <laughs> she looks like she totally did. Oh, God. There, yeah, just blow it into your own face. Sniff it all up. There we go. It's kind of like going this way. I see. <laughs> oh, man, that was a gnarly one. Oh, <laughs> oh it's good. <laughs> I mean, I was trying my best to hold it in, but, dude, it would not stay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you're taking a shit later. I know. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't reveal the intended scale when I invited you, Princess. I trust you understand this was an inevitably inevitable reality. Your presence here was of the utmost importance. Yes, I'm well aware of my responsibilities. With neither father nor my brothers available, it falls to me to represent the Imperial family and remain informed of the current situation. <laughs> Would you be so kind as to share some of that information with us at dinner? That's the plan. 
We could use more input on the matter at hand. We'll be all cooperating, of course. Bracers, special support section, representative Thor should make their voices heard too. We'll need to know where you they intend to position themselves between Operations Jorgen Jorgen Bjorgen and Millie Mirage. Hmm. Dinner won't be third for a while though. Princess Alvin, Elise, why don't you join me for tea? You may join as well, Instructor, but the topic of discussion will most likely not interest you, given how easily you embarrass. Sorry, I can never tell if you're joking, you say. But tea sounds good to me. Yes, yeah, come here, Anto. Oh, and maybe Claudia could join us. Yes, I'll extend the invitation to her. Instructor Reen, will you be coming? Please do! <laughs> if you insist, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right. Curtis. <laughs> yeah, they went real fast. <laughs> There's still time to chat with the attendees before dinner. I might want to speak with President and Prince Albert. There's Lieutenant General Bright, too. People have moved to new locations. The main story progress once you see all the current some of it. Some mushroom content will become unavailable if you progress the story. But I think that actually... Does that do it for how, how long have we been going? Uh, we've been going for like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Uh. <laughs> think we have Takis? Like one more Taki? What's considered story and what's not? I think the most important one is the red one. The two greens are optional. Oh. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty much it. I don't think there's uh, <clears throat> anything else for us. You could try to do the greens before... Hang on a second. What's over here? Oh. I can't Nobody, go... Nobody, bitch. Okay, I can't go over that way. Let's see. Which one? Try this one. Oops, hit a little thingy. Someone was talking on the other side of the door. Wowzers! <laughs> That's a good word. An exclusive interview like this sure makes my day. What are your thoughts on the developments since the trade conference two years ago? What do you take on the recent incidents in the Principality? I've answered those questions for the ardent press before. Grace, was it? Listen, Grace, it's all very well that you're so motivated, but you should think your questions through beforehand. Er Somehow it hurts more, much more being told off by a stunning, beautiful woman. Sounds like they're in the middle of a spirited conversation. Anyway, let's visit the, the liberal waiting room for now. Okay. Okie dokie. So am I not going in there? Uh, President Rocksmith, in your opinion, how is the... That's a girl. President Rocksmith, in your opinion, how's the prognosis for Calvert looking? Not too bad, I'd say for now. <clears throat> Lady Mildeen's sharp intellect is truly something to be feared, isn't it? Isn't it? Me. The situation being as it is, I'm determined to see things through on my end. President Rocksmith. What the new party does with... The country once it's in their hands, though. Couldn't say. Really. Hmm. I might have some information that could be of interest to you. Smith's term is nearly over. Should interrupt their conversation. I'll come back a bit later. Oh. Okay. Well, if you want to wait to do the red one till next time. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Is, uh... is there another door to listen to? No, it's not. Are you sure? It had a little thing on it. Fine. This one's the SSS waiting room. I can hear people chatting inside. I can speak with Cassius. He's in the Burl's waiting room. Oh, okay. Look at that. So you can save it for next time. Yes, we will save it for next time. Because it might be a long one. It most likely will. <laughs> All right, we'll see everybody next time. Bye. <laughs> my butt. Pat and I want to check my pants. You seriously think you grabbed your pants? I don't know. That's the problem. 